not very suitable sleeping attire, is it? Madonna there in a pose that's become familiar to her fans around the world. She sold more than 76 million albums worldwide and recently overtook the Beatles as Britain's most successful singles artist. That's uh, most successful in Britain as opposed to a British person, anyway. I know what uh, you mean anyway. Yeah, Don't that, worry, I was thanks. with you the whole way. Good. Phew, glad somebody is. Anyway, hot on the heels of her last hit song, Madonna is back again. Her latest single, Take a Bow, from her new album, Bedtime Stories, could give her no less than her 36th consecutive top 10 hit. Now, in this exclusive interview with the Queen of Sleeves, she talks about the driving force behind her success. When people are happy and enthusiastic and cheering your name and saying you're the greatest, it doesn't give you pause to reflect as much as... It doesn't encourage you to sit and be reflective as much as people um, question you and challenging what you do. I would say that my state of mind and what I wrote about was a, a reaction or a reflection or a response to, to that. The ideas that I embrace in my record, which are that happiness lies in your own hand, uh, is that is the opposite of that, and the fight w with that, and that, that God exists in all of us. And trying to come to terms with that and find my own sense of religion, because although I am Catholic in my bones, I am looking for something else in, in my blood. There's something autobiographical in all of my records. I would say Like a Prayer was very autobiographical as well. And I was raised as a Catholic and whether I want, whether I like it or not, I will always have a rather Catholic view of the world. Um, I wouldn't say that my life is perfect or that I only have the most perfectly sincere down-to-earth people around me all the time, but uh, I think that I didn't really become famous till um, I was tw 24, 25 years old, so I had many years to be a normal person and learn how to survive without cameras on me all the time, so maybe that helped. I don't know. I think I had a guardian angel. I think my life was, was I couldn't have asked for anything more than what happened to me. Like a virgin. Generally, when I hear music and, it, it, and it, it clicks in my head, I have to be by myself in a room. I lay on my stomach on the floor and I write in a book and I just play the music over and over and over again till I write the whole song out. And then go back to the music and make a structure or form with the music and then go back and change the words again. Or sometimes I'll have, I write in a journal or I'll have a poem and I'll take that poem and try to fit it to music. Sometimes I hear music in my head and I can't play an instrument, so I'll go to the person I'm writing music with and say, play this, and that's what they'll do. This amazing ability to look different all the time. Complete chameleon. chameleon. That's the word. Although she was obviously having a very bad hair day. Eh? <laughs> I thought it was somebody else's hair. But she's still a fair-eyed chanter, as they say. I do have to say that. Right.